Code of the Gamer here, just giving you uh, another game review. The last time I did Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 4, uh, this time I'm going to do Sunset Overdrive. I know this game's been out for a couple of years, but you know what? I'm just going to, um, I'm just going to actually just do a review on Sunset Overdrive, because it's, uh, it's a game that I own, and I'm sure everybody likes to hear a monster review, right? So, um, use a dive bomb and swarm with large groups of enemies. Good advice. Alright, so basically guys, this game is very customizable, um, it's very funny, and it's made by, obviously, Insomniac Games. It's more of a jumping and grinding game, as platformer. you can see. Sorry? Jumping and grinding is, yeah, you're taking the a platformer. platformer. Yeah, So you can walk around and do whatever you want, but, um, mostly for your, co you can do combos, you've got different enemies. Right now I'm actually in a LARP, I'm helping a bunch of LARPers. Uh, so how the story actually goes is um, basically what I'm doing right now is I'm, I'm helping a bunch of LARPers and um, yeah, I'm just helping a bunch of LARPers to progress through the story. There's the story, there's a bunch of optional quests, so it's um, so it's not too bad. It's stuff you'd um, it's it would it would be a game that you would uh, expect from Insomniac, right? Uh, the publisher is Insom. Oh, uh, sorry. The developer is Insomniac, but the publisher is actually Microsoft Game Studios. Um, so yeah, so I'm just going to show you guys a little bit of the gameplay. Um, hopefully find an area where I can customize my character. For those of you not familiar with Insomniac Games, they're also the creators of some more of the popular pl titles for the PlayStation series, such as Spiral the Dragon, Ratchet and Clank, and the Resistance series. Very good there, John. And also, key fact, for those who also don't know what a LARPer is, it stands for Live Action Role Player. Basically, people who just like to dress up in fantasy-style costumes and go out and play in those costumes. Right, and I think actually that's where I'm heading right now. Okay, um, so, there's a, we've got a, an actual weapons uh, menu here. Okay, guys, so I've got the Flaming Compensator, which looks like a something. I've got the Murderang, I've got the Dirty Harry, I've got the Captain Ahab, and I've got the TNT Teddy, I've got the Acid Sprinkler, and I've also got the High Fidelity. I'm going to show you guys the TNT Teddy, actually, uh, the TNT Teddy is actually my favorite weapon. You are literally shooting people with teddy bears with TNT on. Uh, the marker in front of me is actually also a challenge marker. And I seem to have broken it. But that's okay. Uh, in this game, you'll have a lot of enemies. Basically, the story goes that um, this company called Fizzco has brought out a new energy drink, and that energy drink has military grade. Um, military grade materials. Um, what are these guys called again? ODers. Oh, they're called OD. I'm guessing that stands for overdosers. Um, but yeah, this is what they become when they, when they drink that stuff. Uh, you can also collect the cans um, of that energy drink to do upgrades. So it's a pretty straightforward game. I would suggest buying it. My... Rating would have to be at least an 8 out of a 10 for this. Um, the customization was great. Um, the gameplay was great. I don't think the game was too perfect, though. I have had a little bit of issues with the gameplay. But other than that, um, an 8 out of 10 for me. How about you, John? I... I haven't played it myself, but I'm actually quite a big fan of the Insomniac series, so I think I would give it an 8.5 out of 10. Alright. This has been Sakota the Gamer and John, and we will see you guys in the next Deck Profile gameplay video or game review. Bye-bye. Bye now.